Hi everybody, the purpose of this screencast is to show you the difference between an LMS, a learning management system, and an LCMS, which is a learning content management system. So I'm going to go through this um, slideshow, but I wanted to talk as I went over it so that um, you guys can understand the difference between the two. So I came up with a couple analogies to help uh, figure out the difference between a uh, learning content management system and a learning management system. So I put this first picture because it's a pantry. So there's all these ingredients in here to make food. This would be like the learning content management system. It has all the different pieces and information that students need. But the learning management system is like the chef that puts all the ingredients together that makes the delicious meal. So that would be comparing you as the chef, you're the teacher, you pull all the content together and make it meaningful for your students. So here's another analogy. The learning content management system is like the library. There is tons of information. It's organized, it's categorized. When you're looking for something, you can figure out where it's located in the library. But the Common Core State Standards tell us the progression of what our students should learn and when they should learn it um, throughout their schooling. So you can go to the library, you can get lots of content, but it's not really meaningful until you have the teacher or the standard that's kind of guiding you through that. So in those cases, the pantry and the library are like the, the learning content management system. It's the content. The learning management system is the chef, the standards, or you, the teacher, that's guiding the learning for their students. So let's take a look at um, an example of a learning content management system. Many of you guys have discovery education in your buildings. This is United Streaming. There's tons of great content on there, but you are the professional that decide what to cover, when to cover it, and what resources to pull off of discovery education. Oops, sorry. Um, so a learning content management system is used to create, store, and organize e-learning content. Um, a learning content management system is, um, can be used to develop, manage, and publish professional development. Sort of like we're doing here, um, you might have heard of PD360. If you're in the mentoring program, you may be using educational um, impact website. But there's content stored there, and then people can access it. The main user for a learning content management system is the content creator. So in this case, it would be you, the teacher. <clears throat> so let's take a look at some other learning content management systems that you guys might be familiar with. We've got Fast Math, Compass Learning, Dreambox, Raz Kids, Brain Pop, Discovery, United Streaming, like I said, and Accelerated Reader. They all house lots of content that teachers can use and assign or deliver to their students. Schoology, on the other hand, is a learning management system. So let's look at the difference between the two. A learning management system enables teachers to incorporate online content and create um, created from a variety of sources. So you can pull things in from places like United Streaming, YouTube, Padlet, um, all over the internet, Educan and Edpuzzle, um, Brain Pop, all those places. You can pull them in and organize it in um, Schoology. It allows you to uh, create content and give students feedback as well as track their participation. It also has a grade book feature, which is something that um, a content management system does not have. You can also differentiate by individually assigning or assigning to groups. Um, you can also tag standards based on what you're covering. So it keeps track of uh, what you've taught and how the students did on that particular standard. You can also have online discussions. You can connect and collaborate with other classes. You can automate when content is available. So you can set it up to automatically go live in a certain period and then disappear when that time frame is up. There's audio and visual tools built right into Schoology. Um, of course, you can access it anytime, anywhere online, but with Schoology, there's also a mobile app. And there's also a digital agenda book, like a calendar. So let's take a look at Google Classroom, because Google Classroom is a little bit more than a learning co content management system, but there are uh, major differences between Schoology and Google Classroom. 
So Google's, like I said, is more than that. Um, teachers can create and edit content as well as um, use the content that they curate from various sources like YouTube or maybe an online map or something like that. But remember what I said about the learning content management system. The target user is the teacher. Google Classroom is designed for the teacher to pass out papers, give out information. Schoology, on the other hand, is designed with the student in mind. They are the main user. And I'll go into that a little bit more as we keep going. But uh, keep this in mind, with Google Classroom, the main user is the teacher. It makes it easier for the teacher to disseminate and hand out information. So Schoology, on the other hand, is a learning management system. The main user is the student. It's designed for them to be the main user. So I made this graphic to kind of show um, the difference between the two. The target user is the student. So I made this maze to show here's the student and the teacher is guiding the student through their learning path ultimately to graduation. And um, the teacher is the professional and they control the learning experience that the student has. That's what Schoology offers above and beyond learning content management systems and Google Classroom. The teachers have the ability to control the learning experience for the student. They can differentiate, they can support, they can provide feedback. There are so many features in Schoology that allow a teacher to have control over the learning experience for the student. And again, we're all in this for the students and our end goal is to be college and career ready for them. So remember that the learning management system is designed for the student to be the main, man main user and the learning content system, learning content management system is designed with the teacher to be the main user. All right, hope that helped uh, clear up that one letter difference.